seabed until her wreck was finally located by a group of divers in 1970. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 
Hello and welcome on board to uh, those joined us here at the historic dockyard. To get underway, we mind of our safety aspects of the vessel. Our jackets here in the warehouse, side and centre seats, and the white box out there in the stand. Likewise, on the stern will be launched by the crew, should an emergency arise, hopefully nothing will happen, and further instructions will be. So we make our way across the harbour here now. There are lots of moving ships up there to the point. Comprehensive commentary and views of those can be seen on the various harbour tours from the dockyard. On the left hand side there we see the large spinnaker tower, 550 feet from the base to the top, recently had a coat of paint, it was blue and gold, and uh, they actually wanted to paint it red and white, until somebody from the local council said hang on that's the same colours as our rival football team up the road, so it caused a bit of controversy because it was being sponsored by Emirates whose traditional colours are red and white. It was eventually completed in uh, late uh, September 2005, several million pounds over budget, several years late. Gosport on the other hand were not so fortunate with their financial handouts. Their Millennium Project just behind the Gosport ferry at the moment. There's a little triangle structure with a 599 Argos clock in the central. All people of Gosport have to come down and look at that, try and tell the time, and stare at what course we've got on the other side of the harbour.